Hello, hello, Jingo Manning here, and uh, I am at the office again. And uh, you can see that the door had a foam uh, stick on uh, stick on it. Um, we try to use it to absorb the noise, but we find out it cannot really helpful for high tune of the noise now from the 520 model. So we bought this. Yeah, this is uh, uh, our customized server cabinet. Um, it can contain like dozens of servers. Uh, also, it has fans at the front and the back. Uh, also, it has uh, uh, air intake and exhaust on the top and the bottom. You can see that uh, we have two um, machines. One is exhausting, one is intaking. Uh, and also the wind or the air is just um, uh, going inside of the tube. So uh, the machine, it will not affect the room temperature or the room temperature will not affect uh, the, temp the, the, the temperature of inside of this cabinet. Uh, how about the noise? Well, if I keep quiet for now, you will hear some noise um, a bit, but uh, they are basically from this, from the fan. But if I open the door of the cabinet, you'll find out the noise is very obvious. Uh, and uh, and right here in the form again to absorb the noise uh, to keep everything inside. Also, we shut off this uh, fan exhaust uh, to make sure only the cold air comes in from the bottom and the hot air only goes out from the top. Uh, so this is also helps to reduce the temperature. Uh, as you can see that uh, inside of the cabinet it is 30.5 Celsius. It is kind of decent or it is helpful to simulate if you are in the uh, in summer uh, to try to uh, like uh, uh, you do not want to open uh, the air condition turn on the air condition uh, so if your room temperature is at 30 Celsius you will find out that the temperature of the machine is still at 43 to 54 which is still very very decent and the fan speed will increase to around 16,000 but the noise is basically from here so it is very very helpful for home users or someone who would like to uh, hide whatever you want uh, so uh, let's start another round of our quick update update so on the top on the top it is a 520 model overclocked um, and the the hash rate in average is at is at 590 mega hash per second and real time is at 544 mega hash per second downside is the um, second one is the 450 map model um, and the, the uh, computing power in average 24 hours it is a 503.25 mega hash per second and for real time data it is at 515.4 mega hash per second uh, and you also can see that uh, the mining pool we are using right now uh, we have to switch to, switch to the backup pool uh, of the polling uh, based on some reasons you may know uh, so this is basically our update from uh, November from November 29th and uh, one more thing is that uh, uh, for last night Yesterday it was a very very rough day because uh, we were shipping out our uh, 450 model in stock products. Um, also today there will be some customers to pick up by themselves, uh, also to ship out from our warehouse. Uh, there will be around 100 uh, products uh, in our warehouse ready to ship. Uh, no matter you come here to pick up or ship you ship to you wherever you from like China or everywhere <laughs> so uh, see you tomorrow this is Jingo Mining